Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video if you have a BMW guys. Any BMW with hydraulic power steering pump. Now in today's video we will explain how to properly bleed the power steering pump and the power steering system on a BMW guys. Let's say you replace power steering reservoir, hose, pump, rack and pinion, anything like that. You need to follow that procedure or you may need to say bye bye to your uh, your new pump guys or new rack and pinion. Why? Because if you don't bleed the, uh, the excuse me the power steering system you may have air stuck in the system and that can actually damage your power steering system. In today's video we will explain how to do that. Uh, now that will work on BMWs with uh, with hydraulic power steering pump and not the one with the electric pump. So uh, it will work on multiple multiple BMWs especially before year 2013-14 when they uh, started using quite often uh, um, power steering pumps that are electric. So you need to get uh, the power steering fluid if you want to uh, see where to get the special power steering fluid for your BMW for a really good price check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from guys and you can find tools and parts for a really good price and quick shipping as well another thing let me tell you quick guys before we start every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos and we do that simply because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can please subscribe to the channel and like the video now all that being said guys okay uh, you need to just remove the cap of your power steering pump you have two lines you need to consult your manual one is for hot one is for cold sometimes guys one is minimum one is maximum it really depends on the design but uh, in most cases okay uh, it will be uh, it will be where it needs to be between minimum and maximum or the lower bar will be when the power steering pump uh, uh, but the power steering fluid is cold and the other one is when it warms up so what we will do now we will go ahead and start adding fluid okay and never start your car okay we're going to add fluid okay add even more okay so we can see i'm gonna show you now uh, now what you need to do next you need to jack your car up in the air the tires okay need to be off the ground Check it out, the tire needs to be off the ground guys, so on both sides, left and right side, you can see this one as well. Now don't start the car, you may need to just put the key in without starting the car or anything like that and start okay, turning guys, the steering wheel all the way from left to right and from right to left, all the way and you will see guys, okay, air coming out in the power steering reservoir. Now the tires are turning left and right, check it out, you need to do that for about 5 minutes guys, I'll say 3 minutes but do it 5 or until you don't see any bubbles for about 1 minute guys, it really, okay, it really depends now, it really depends on uh, what you changed on your power steering system, it may have more air or less air, so you need to keep doing that until guys, okay, until you don't see any air for about 1 minute. In the meantime, uh, have a person, okay, watch our level drop quite a bit, have a person that will actually check, uh, check the level of the power steering fluid because you may suck all the fluid and if you keep doing that and you don't have any fluid in the reservoir, you will actually put more air in the system. So you have to make sure that you always have power steering uh, fluid, okay, in the reservoir. So we'll keep doing that for about three to five minutes and we'll continue. So we're done, we haven't seen any bubbles for about a minute guys. We're going to close it, okay, we're up to the maximum mark, that's great. We're going to go ahead, okay, close it all the way. We're going to, uh, what we're going to do now guys, okay, we're going to level the car, put it down and we're going to uh, start it for just a little bit and make sure that everything functions as it should. Okay, we're ready to let it down on this side, perfect. Always use jack stands too, we just removed ours, but always guys, always use jack stands. And I am ready to drop it on this side too. So, okay, let me go ahead and do that. Perfect. Now, we're going to go ahead, start the car and see what it sounds like. So, if it starts a little bit slow, that's fine because we replaced a few gaskets in the way and actually may not have fuel in the system, but it did start good. Now, let's turn the power steering. Okay, let's turn the steering wheel left and right. Do we hear any noise? No, no noise from the power steering system, guys. 
if we hear any noise what do we need to do we need to guys jack it up again and keep bleeding until we don't see any air out of the system so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time